Hey everybody, Tech Lady here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Facebook page for your small business. Now you might think to yourself, do I really need a Facebook page for my small business? Well, I'm going to give you 1.3 billion reasons why it's probably going to be a good idea. And that number, and I did say 1.3 billion, is the number of people that are on Facebook each day. So that's a huge potential for your business. All right, so this is real easy to do. It's free. It takes no time at all. You will need, however, to have a personal Facebook account. If you don't have a personal Facebook account, you cannot set up a business account. All right, so assuming that you already have one, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to create a page for your small business. All right, let's get to it. Now, once you are logged into your personal account, I want you to go to the blue toolbar at the top and you will see a black arrow. Simply click on that and select create page. Now I've done a couple of test pages already, but okay, we're gonna say create page. Now you are presented with six different categories in which to place your business. Now don't be too concerned if it's not an exact fit. Uh, you can always change it later. But for our purposes, we're gonna pretend that we are an online jewelry store. So I'm going to select brand or product because really none of the other businesses quite fit what I want. So I'm going to select brand or product. I'm going to choose a subcategory. I'm going to select the black arrow. And I'm going to go down to jewelry and watches. Now I need to say a brand or product name. So I'm going to type in cool stuff. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Obviously you're going to put your own brand there. And select get started. Okay, so it's saying it's invalid, so let's try it again. I don't know, sometimes they want uppercase, sometimes they want lowercase, so let's try it this way. Okay, that seemed to have satisfied the Facebook gods. All right, now it wants us to right away add a profile picture. I don't wanna do that just yet. I want you to see the page as it exists before we add any images. So I'm gonna sit, hit skip. Now again, it wants us to add a cover photo. We're gonna do that in the next round. So we're gonna hit skip again. All right, this brings us to your brand new Facebook page for your small business. Now, it's not looking so great. As we know, we don't have a profile photo. We don't have a cover photo. If you have one for your business, feel free to upload it here. If you don't have one, I'm going to suggest two different sites that can help you. These are awesome sites. They are mostly free. Um, they will help you automatically adjust the sizing for your Facebook profile and your Facebook cover photo. The first one I want to take you to is called Stencil, and that is located at GetStencil.com. If you want to start creating images, you can just click around here. We're going to do, obviously, we're going to do Get Started for free. So we just need really just two images. And this might take some time, but if you can go through here, it will automatically, now you're going to have to set up an account but we'll go back to the homepage. So what it will do is it, once you sign in, you will be able to set up or create, I should say, a Facebook profile and Facebook cover photo in the exact dimensions that they are supposed to be relatively easily with uh, some templates that you can just edit, make it your own and download it quite easy. The next one I want you to go to is called snappa.com. Similar to Stencil, it will allow you to create your Facebook images. And as you can see here, you can do, gosh, it's really tiny, but Facebook profile and a Facebook cover photo. Again, you don't need to hire a fancy graphic artist. You can simply use one of their templates and adjust it on your own. Feel free to watch the demo here. And these are wonderful tools to get you started. Once you have your awesome photos, let's go back to your Facebook page and you're going to click on the camera icon, upload your photo from wherever you saved it, wherever you downloaded it, and it, it will appear here. Do the same thing with the ad cover. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to configure. This is your call to action button. So we're going to click on it. And depending on the kind of business you are, there are certain things that you can have people do. And the text could say one of these, I guess it's six things. So for me, since we are pretending we are a jewelry store and online, I want one that says shop. Okay. So I'm going to click on shop and I want my button to say shop now. 
So this is one of the most important options right here. And this is the website link. I want my viewers to click on, when they click on the button that says shop now, it's going to take them to the website. So I'm going to click that on. And now it says, what website would you like to uh, have it go to? Now here's where you need to type in your web address. So I'm just going to type in ask, askthetechlady.com and make sure I spelled everything correctly. It's safe. And then we've got configured and now all I have to do is hit finish. Okay, so let's test this baby out, shall we? So I'm going to hit this shop now. I'm going to go down to test button. Let's see. Uh, so far, it looks like it's taken me to the correct thing. Yes, there we go. All right. So that is how you set up a Facebook page for your small business. Now, also one more thing is let your friends know about your page. So I blurred out my friend list that automatically populated. But right here, you'll be able to in invite all of your friends that are currently in your personal page. Okay. So again, that is how you create a Facebook page for your small business. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You can comment below or send me an email at help at askthetechlady.com. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching.